Hey guys, so I just uh, wrapped up a Spellbinders video and my Spellbinders haul from the Spring Warehouse clearance sale came in. So, um, yeah, once they shipped it, it came in within a couple days, but again, they're in Arizona. I believe they still ship from there. And I'm in California, so uh, not too far either. Um, so if you're interested in any of these things, uh, we'll have the links in the description box. There will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And I've had people question things like this before. When I have a haul, it's because I bought it, because it's a haul, right? <laughs> That's Otherwise, it's, you know, items for review. But um, these are things that I personally picked up. Um, they are starting a sale, actually. You know, it's funny, because I just wrapped up that video, and I mentioned that I was going to have a haul come in, and then here it is. So I don't know which one I'm going to put out first, but either way, um, Spellbinders just started a sale of 25 off of a $100 cart. When they do that, um, you just have to add $100 worth of stuff. It doesn't matter what, basically, in your cart, and then they take the $25 automatically. I've had people ask me... Sorry, I'm in the middle of talking about things. I guess this is so mixed media out. It's not dirty. It's just uh, <laughs> glue and ink. You consider that dirty, I guess. Um, okay, so um, yeah, so let me show you the things I picked up. And the sales usually run like a week or so, so um, I'm assuming this 25 out of 100 will probably last for about a week, but I'll have the um, expiration date there. So yeah, again, I don't know if I'm gonna release this video first or my little sweet video for the uh, Maylene Jung uh, Delightful Darling stamps, which I've been looking forward to trying out, and today was the day, but we'll see that later on. And of course, today also launched the gift card holder. Um, it's kind of interesting uh, shape for uh, tonic. It had like little pockets and different things. I saw, I think, in the email blast, um, somebody made it more like a 3D thing where you can put the little cards in. It was really cute. So I'm like, oh, that's a different. I, I just figured it was flat, which I think it is intended to be flat. But the way the other gal used that, I thought it was cute. So yes, okay, this is yay. I mean, I did order this a while ago. The The shipping does say it's going to take 5 or 10 extra days because they're a little behind. But, you know, no, normally things come in and I just let them sit for a while anyhow. So I wasn't in a huge rush. But look at this. I have been wanting this. I didn't really know the size of it. I don't really... I've never seen, like, a video on it. So, like, um, in the pictures, it's hard to tell. But this is the Fun Stamper's Journey Gel Press. It does, I think, tell you that it's 7 by 7 Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't have a lot of information is what I feel like on the link there or in the description of the product, but yay! So this is a gel press, but it has heart shapes. Uh, I can't really open it, but, um, and that's the other thing, I don't know, yeah, I definitely have to play with this, because, <laughs> there we go. Uh, the heart shapes are kind of cut into that gel thing, so then you can just use it however you like, of course, with your different, oh, I'm so excited about this. All right. So you can read the exclusions on the coupon and stuff, uh, it's not really a coupon, like I said, you add $25 worth, I know the new things, everything counts, even if things are on sale. Normally, if they have exclusions, then you might want to check that out. But let me open this up. I've been looking forward to this because I bought some items that are old school in my opinion, but I'll show you that in just a minute. Do they usually put a... Hmm. Oh, yeah, I already put it to the side. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at the receipt there. Oh, okay, so we have uh, a bunch of stuff. Again, this was during the clearance time. They still have things on clearance. It's just not the same. Or maybe it's, you know, they, they do different things with their sales. But um, this one is Ahoy there. And I just thought it was really cute. I love the Dead Men Tell No Tales. I mean, whenever I go to Disneyland, oh, no, Disney World, I always end up buying Jack Sparrow-like hoodies that have cool stuff or, like, shirts because that's, like, my favorite of their designs. But really cute. I love that. Um, this is the Besties Forever Small Die of the Month, which is so cute with the little cat and the little dog. Oh my gosh. Look at them, and then the little grass, of course. So cute. Um, the Glimmer Plate for you. I will do anything, or however, especially for you. Heartfelt thoughts on your birthday, you know, however you want to use them. But I just thought this was a really pretty set, so I picked that up. Oh, I love the little individual pieces. How cute is that? Wow. So cute. Um, and then sentiments I had told you guys whenever I showed that they were having their clearance sale that I was going to get these, and here they are. <laughs> they were just a few bucks. Uh, the small die a month from December of 2019. And it's just a lot of words, sentiments, which I love. Because you guys know you just pop it on there, you're good to go. Make that a focal point on your card, however you want to do it. Ooh, oh, this is new, but that was from back in the day. Elegant Oval. And I really love this. It's a Becca Fecan uh, glimmer die, so really, really cool. So pretty. Oh, this one. This actually goes back to, I think, 
a die of the month that I have already. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, I need this. So this is the uh, Elegant Foil Seals. And look how pretty, I mean, look at this. Even if you just put this on your card or however, and then it does have the die to cut around the edges. But thank you. Handmade for you. Oh my gosh. That'd be really cool. Now, you know, I, what I would do is if you're going to foil this, like foil it on a ton of back, um, the backs of cards. So you have the card ready and then you do your card right. So you don't have to pull out the foil press every time you want to make a card and have this awesome thing on there. I love that. Or just on a tag, of course. Ooh, <laughs> I was like, this is a lot. This is the uh, die of the month from Excel. It says from July, uh, from July 2018, you guys. And it does this kind of thing, which I thought was kind of interesting because it's very similar to a set. Obviously, this is three years old, but um, that the Stamps of Life has. It has these little holes. They're super cute. And then the S was kind of a weird shape. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I, yeah, I mean, it goes like this. Kind of more like cursive, right? I don't know. Yeah, I just, when I noticed that, I thought, oh, that's an interesting S. All right, um, we have the Amazing Paper Grace Die of the Month for February, and look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is sizable. It's gorgeous. I mean, super intricate. Are these the same? Yeah, it's cool. I was going to say, otherwise, it might be two different designs. But no, just so you can do it all at once if you need to get that done. Really cool. Look at that. Just makes gorgeous backgrounds. I think this is really fun. Oh, my gosh. And then this one is, that's from February 2019. This is from October 2019. One of a, ugh, one kind word alphabet collage. And I thought this was really sweet because basically you have this alpha if you want to just use that. Really thin little letters. You can use it in a way that makes a card front, like a project, like a mini album, however you want to use it. I mean, they're using it in a way to make like a kind of, I don't want to say scrapbook, but almost like a scrapbook page, right? But like um, home decor. That's really cute. All right, so there's that. And then I picked up, oh no, there's, I was gonna say, I think there's some more, hold on, before I get to the other items that, uh, I did get some of their ribbon, because I don't think I've really used their ribbon before. I don't even know if it comes in their kits every once in a while. I think their kits are mostly like die cuts and other things like that, you know, the rhinestones um, stuff. This is a lot of ribbon, look at this. So that's really nice, and it feels so pretty. So yeah, I was definitely looking forward to using those. So I got black satin and then this, uh, olive green color and then of course the cut and emboss folders which I just love I love these I love them so much they're so easy to use and it's just cute it just adds a little something you can ink it up you can distress it they have them on clearance all the time for like three five bucks um, so this one is diamond lace Lahaina I assume that's how you pronounce that <laughs> and it has a little bits which I love the palm leaves and this one's a bigger one so these are A2s and this is a 5x7 floral splash and it makes a little holes back here after making the little like flower and it's hard to see on there so cute look at this oh we have all those little sprig dies how cute is that to put something together just easy like that okay these guys this is kind of what I was afraid of <laughs> I am gonna get a bigger machine at some point that does this kind of thing but I wasn't thinking about it um yeah I don't know that do I have a machine big enough to do this I don't know back in the day I picked up pretty much all the machines that there were that you know crank um I have to think about this one it is big. I didn't realize these were only on clearance for like five bucks. So it's worth me to get it and it's going to make a nice sizable thing. So this is the steel rule die for the, um, well, it's just contour. So, oh yeah, I'm trying to see the name of it. Sorry guys. I don't know. <laughs> it just it says perfect match one die cut and score. All right. Um, so these guys are steel rule dies, and you see how thick it is. If you're new, you maybe it doesn't look familiar. They still sell them. Like Sizzix still has them. You're gonna run it through a cuddle bug. You're gonna run it through like a big shot. You're gonna run it through the platinum you know, six, the spellbinders machines. This is obviously a lot bigger. So the other ones cut like about this size, you know, and then depth. And all you do is use the uh, cutting plates. So cutting plate, the die, the paper, the next cutting plate, run it through, like the thin ones, right? The thin cutting plates. And that's how you use them. I did not know these are so big. <laughs> This is so cute. I was like, I can't pass it up for five bucks. This is Birdhouse. So I guess the other one is called Perfect Match. Oh, because it's like a matchbook. So this one's called Birdhouse. And look at this. I mean, how adorable. Just simple little pieces there. And then we have, oh yeah, yeah, the uh, Go Geo Heart box. Super cool. You're going to cut a top and a bottom. And then this piece here, you know, you just add it around doot, 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 around these pieces. Very simple. Um, and it makes a little heart box. How cute is that? 
That'll be interesting to try this out because normally on a box you want the top and the bottom to be different sizes, right? But this one you're going to cut the top and the bottom the same size unless you just glue it together. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's not really the kind of thing where you're going to open it like this. You're going to have the top and the bottom and this is going to go around here and then you can leave like an area open or however. That's what it is. Okay. And then this one is the, this time around. I love things like this. I've done something like this by hand using the Crafters Companion um, Pro or Ultimate Pro. Um, and yeah, you just have to cut the little score lines and then glue it around the circle. So it makes like a little hat box or a little box basically. But uh, this is called this time around. How oh, cute. So this is for the lid and the top and then the base. Um, and then the bottom part. This one's a little bit smaller than this one. That's, not, that's the base. But so cute. I have not actually, actually I've never seen these in real life. <laughs> so that's cool. All right, guys. Um, yeah, keep an eye out. Like I said, I have another video. I'll probably put this one out before that one. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. Again, they have the $25 off of 100 Whatever you put in your cart, that's up to 100 uh, or more, of course. And um, I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.